Hello and welcome back to another episode of Amsoil Performance Unlimited. Today, we're working on the solstice again. And in the mail today, I got another package. What do we have here? Check it out. You see this? This is the good stuff. I got all new water lines for the turbo. Check it out. This is what you call heavy duty. Flared fittings, really thick, really high temp stuff. Um, and a banjo bolt. That way I can redirect it away from the manifold. Got banjo bolts and 3 8 fittings. So I got a little fitting box here with everything I need. So let's get started. So here you go. Uh, attach the stainless steel line. Put the banjo bolt on. Now it looks a little more professional. Nothing's leaking. Looks pretty good. Not sure about this one here. I do have this fitting. Right here. I do have one more. But I was going to leave it for now until I can see exactly if that's exactly what's leaking. But this one's changed and actually it's not even that hot. Which is pretty nice. Um, I let it bleed out before I connected it and it, water went through right away. So that means I'm getting a really good flow of water. That's good. Oil doesn't leak. Nothing's leaking here. So that's good. Um, besides that, everything else seems to be pretty good. I've got this line routed here around the top and into that one right there. Pretty easy. Had a little bit of heat, heat tape on there. Um, besides that, that's it. Next thing I'm waiting for is the correct spring for the blowout valve. So the one I have now is too, it's too light and it stays open on idle. And even when I add a lot of throttle to it, nothing. So unless it's under boost, it won't work and it won't close. So I'm waiting for that until I do any more driving because it sits there and just, you know, sucks in unfiltered air. That's no good. So that'll be on the next video. But till then, there you go.